Drake is allegedly getting sued by an Instagram model after he put hot sauce in his condom. Yes, you heard that correctly. Let's get into it. Well, we didn't have this on our bingo card for 2022. An Insta model allegedly threatening to take legal action against Drake for pouring hot sauce into his used condom is quite the story. So with that, we want to issue a graphic content warning because this story might be TMI for some. Also, we advise that you only continue on with the video if you're of age to handle more mature topics. Okay, now that you've officially been warned, here's what we know. The IG account Too Much Hot Tea posted details in the caption about what supposedly went down between Drake and the model. The two allegedly met through Instagram and went back to Drizzy's hotel after a party. Too Much Hot Tea specifically alleges, they smoked weed for a bit and he asked if she wanted to have sex. She said he was very intent on ensuring things were consensual. The caption then gets into way more detail about their romantic encounter and some of Drake's, well, uh, physical attributes, if you get your meaning. We're gonna spare you those details, but you could read the full account online if you're curious. After that, the IG account shares that once Drake and the model were done having sex, he went to the bathroom to dispose of his condom. This is the part where things get a little hot and friends trust us when we say not in a good way. Too Much Hot Tea went on to add that the model fished the condom out the trash, untied it, and put the opening end into her genital area. She was apparently in for a surprise though because Too Much Hot Tea explains she said it felt like pouring hot lava into her. Yeah, let this be a lesson to all. One, sex and hot sauce do not mix. Two, hot sauce is probably best for food rather than anything else. The IG account also wrote that she screamed and Drake ran into the bathroom. He admitted that he poured a packet of hot sauce in the condom to kill the sperm. If this encounter is true, we're sure the model and Drake were both in shock and angry to find out what each other had done in terms of the condom. Talk about awkward. Now the IG model wants to reportedly sue Drake for his actions in the sexual encounter. Oh my gosh, could you imagine how uncomfortable the court proceedings would be? Again, talk about awkward. But Drake doesn't seem to be in his feelings about any of this drama. Champagne Poppy recently flexed on the gram just how much he's ballin'. He captioned his gallery post, there's a point in the fake it till you make it theory where you actually gotta make it. We even got to see Drake show off his way too sexy abs, stacks of money, and powder blue Mercedes G-Wagon. Oh, there's no more faking it. Aubrey Drake Graham is full-fledged making it. And now he can add Euphoria successful season two premiere to the notch on his belt. Serving as one of the executive producers, the second season premiered on January 9th, two years after the first season. Storm Reid, who plays Rue's little sister Gia on the show, opened up to Kelly Clarkson about Drake's involvement with the show. No, he's really involved. There was, um, we were doing table reads for season two a couple of months back. Yeah. Um, and of course, like, you're not expecting Drake to be at your table reads. Oh, and he was so involved and, and so in tune. The roller coaster that was season two, episode one of Euphoria definitely started off with a bang. No wonder Zendaya had to take to Instagram to issue a content warning ahead of the premiere, but no amount of warnings could have prepared us for what producers had in store for that first episode. We cannot wait to keep watching. Ah, <sighs> looks like Drake will be adding more stacks of money to his suitcase after all the buzz the second season has been getting. Now go ahead and click right over here for another clever video, and then hop to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on this Drake tea. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.